Tom Dolan, uh, Sinn Féin Republican Youth Committee, uh, speaking on behalf of the National Youth Committee. Um, speaking in favour today of Motion 69, um, Akalja, the Lisbon Treaty gave the European Commission the competence, the competence to negotiate trade deals on behalf of member states. Using this power, the Commission has arbitrarily negotiated numerous deals with very little regard for member states it claims to represent. Most notable and controversial of these deals is TTIP the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership Agreement, which has been negotiated with the USA and equally the EU Canadian trade deal known as CETA, both of which could have significant implications for Ireland. TTIP and CETA are exactly the kind of deals that make citizens suspicious of the EU agenda. Sinn Féin has huge concerns about these deals and the unrelenting trade agenda of the EU Commission. Of particular concern is the attitude and position of the previous Irish Government. We need a strong, vigilant Irish position to protect Ireland's interest. Instead, we seem to have spiralled into a situation where our government is happy to play second fiddle to the trade agenda of the wider EU bloc. We cannot allow ourselves to be sleepwalked into another bad trade deal. The inclusion of the investor court mechanism and TTIP negotiations has sparked huge controversy. This new court allows for corporations to sue sovereign governments for impl implementing measures that could impact on their potential profits. The creation of this new court would open states up to liabilities not previously imagined. It would not engage with national courts. It would limit the ability of governments to legislate freely when it comes to public services, and consequently, it would have huge implications for the Irish Constitution. Sinn Féin is opposed to the investor state dispute clauses. These clauses are undemocratic and based on investor protection and not the protection of citizens. We are calling for the cessation of the ongoing TTIP negotiations and for the Council of Ministers to vote down the ratification of CETA. While we actively encourage initiatives that could stimulate economic growth, these trade deals are dangerous and Sinn Féin should not support the trade mechanism that allows domestic law to be, su to be superseded for corporate interests. So, comrades, to finish, I'm asking you today to vote aye in favour of Motion 69.